What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, finally, freaking Friday. I am glad to be back home. I had to go down the country there with the red brick house where we now have elect electricity yes the power company has finally gotten out there they got power for us and so now next week when i go down we'll be able to actually do a lot more things uh, as opposed to relying only on battery power and we're going to start getting worked on working on that now that it is the off season but i've started doing something uh yesterday and it's a new segment and it's called the craziest shit i've heard today you know, I get I get Cowboy fans are disappointed because, you know, we, we're seeing the Eagles going for another Super Bowl. You know, we're seeing Kansas City go for another Super Bowl. And, you know, they're lashing out. We're, we're, we're lashing out. We're mad. We're angry. We're, we're disappointed. And we're pointing at somebody. And we're pointing, of course, at Dak Prescott. So this morning, you know, this, that was early this morning. I actually want to go into this more detail, but I had to get it down the road so I could meet the power company in time before they got off for the day. But when I heard this, um, they were talking about this is it for Dak Prescott, that it's going to be this year. And if the Cowboys aren't successful, they're just going to blow it up, get rid of Mike McCarthy, Dak Prescott, and just start all over and so forth. And I keep hearing this thing over and over again about elite quarterbacks that can overcome having bad teams. And my question is, can you tell me what quarterbacks that are elite that are succeeding without any kind of help whatsoever? Because I don't know any. Now, people will point out Pat Mahomes. You know, Pat Mahomes lost his three, you know, his three wide receivers, which is true. And he did lose Tariq Hill. But I will put in that that he still had an incredible, probably the best tight end in football that always seems to be open. He had one of the best play callers in the world. And they also have the number one uh, pass defense, I mean, pass blocking offensive line. He ain't doing it by himself. He's not doing it by himself. But let me go to the exact clip. And, and I want you to listen to this because I'm still trying to understand this. And, and it's really the craziest shit that I have heard. Yeah. Is he right? I, I agree 100%. Now, Dak is a good quarterback and he has some great attributes to his game. But when you talk about elite, I think we do use that word too loosely nowadays. When I think of elite, I think about a Patrick Mahomes that loses Tyreek Hill and still able to take his team to the Super Bowl. I also think about how, how uh, Patrick Mahomes lost three receivers in that game, in the AFC Championship game, and still made magical plays. We've seen Dak Prescott in the game versus the 49ers this year. Um, one other thing I want to put in here, too about Pac Mahomes not having any help. Did anybody else feel like the officiating was going the way of the Kansas City Chiefs? That there were some kind of calls that were kind of like phantom calls over and over again that you kind of said, hmm? did the Twitter sphere kind of question the officiating in that game? I'm just, just asking for a friend and last year didn't play elite and if he had been that way they would still probably be playing right now to this day uh granted they got past philly so i agree with bart 100 percent and, and, and you were making the point this morning that the loss of Amari, amari cooper you sort of view that in a similar vein to what mahomes did without tyree kill and the way it seemed to impact Dak season 100 if you copy and paste Dak prescott to the chiefs team right now they would not be playing in the super bowl this I mean, Sunday. that's reasonable Nico, how about you i mean it's it, what is it eight away right now i'm I'm not going to dump in Dax Cheerios this morning. I'm just not going to do it like Bart, okay? I'm, I'm not ready to do it. Is that a thing, by the way? I don't mean to. I, and, 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 I don't know. Is, that, is made, that an expression? I just, I just made it up. Okay, fine. I've never. It's, a, it's like uh, the punch bowl. I don't know. No, I, I understand know. what it is, but I'm just saying is I've never heard anyone use that. Play. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's morning. It's breakfast. You're right, an anyway, interesting it's guy. Okay, know, go ahead. Whatever, but let me just get to my point here. Please. Okay, in 2020, here we go. Hembo stat. little Hembo stat. 2020. Here we go. Offensive line protection, 26 for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, Prescott. 2021, 23rd. Eh, not really good. 
2022, 28th in the NFL. I don't care who you are. If you do not have consistency up front, your offensive line, you are going to struggle. Mm. And I, Dak, you know, I look at Dak. You, you look at him as a, as a player. He's a specimen. He looks great. Jersey on. Big, strong fella. He could throw the football anywhere over the field. So, what he has to do is just take care of the football a little bit better. If he was to- Okay. I agree. I agree. He's got to take care of the football better. But if you are hurried... If you're constantly under distress, if you're 26 in pass block, I'm sorry, 28th in pass blocking win rate, 28th, as opposed to the Eagles being the number one offensive line in football and Kansas City with the number one win rate in pass blocking. I don't know that you are having to be elite if you have the best protection in football. I'm not saying that Pat Mahomes isn't because Pat Mahomes is. But even with that, he doesn't win the Super Bowl every year. And I'm not going to go on boards and say Jalen Hurts is elite now when he's got the best offensive line in football and definitely one of the best wide receiver cores. And I will add to this, and I know that the Jack Prescott, he's trash. People will come out the woodwork. Do you think Noah Brown could start on any of these teams? That are in the Super Bowl? Do you think Michael Gallup could be starting on these teams in the Super Bowl? Do you think Dalton Schultz could be starting on these two teams in the Super Bowl? Because that's what he had to work with. My next point of the craziest shit I've been seeing today was pro the boys at pro football focus okay i don't want to hear anybody else talking about when you pay dak prescott because this shit is about to be crazy okay pro football folk i'm sorry sports track estimates that geno smith okay geno smith estimated market value right now today is 39 million dollars no, you ready to invest $39 million in the Geno Smith? Seriously. Let, let me pull up Geno stats. Geno Smith stats. Hold on for one second. Well, no, I'll call them back. Geno Smith stats. He's got 11,199 yards in his career has had one season, this season, 4,282 yards, 30 TDs, 11 interceptions, right? The next closest year, he had 3,000 3, yards, 12 TDs, and 21 interceptions. And he's uh, 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 worth $39 million? Okay. How about this one? How about, oh, just hang on. How about this one? Lamar Jackson projected contract. Lamar Jackson. Five-year deal. $260 million. Okay. $208 million fully guaranteed. That's the boys at pro, at pro Football Focus are estimating what his contract is worth. We're talking about that being $52 million a year. I don't want to hear any more about what Dak Prescott's getting paid. I don't want to hear it. I, it, I just don't want to hear it, okay? Because, you know, it, it, I tell you what. You give me the Eagles offensive line. You give me the Eagles wide receivers, because you can go down the list and you can look and say, Eagles got the best offensive line of football. Eagles have one of the better wide receiver core groups. The Eagles have one of the the better tight ends. You don't have to be elite when you have all that. And I'm still waiting for this elite quarterback that is winning with, say, I don't know, the Jets. The Jets. Because I tell you, we say that Aaron Rodgers is elite, but look at their record. They lost at home to the Lions in a basically a playoff game to get into the playoffs. So, yes, 
This is the dumbest shit I've heard today. All right. I'll see you guys tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. Be there. We got a lot of shit to talk about. Like, when are we going to find out who's our offensive coordinator? 